Yeah. So this is our friend from back home in Jamaica. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, see? This is C. Steve. Dumpling. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Kalaloo and Saltfish. Yeah. Then we have Plantain, Fried yeah. Plantain. Uh -huh. And we have the wonderful Dumpling. Yeah. And we have um, Strawberry and Orange. Yeah. Uh, and I'm having um, Earl Grey tea or Noni? No, oh, no, Noni no, tea. No, Yay. Yeah. 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 All right, enjoy. Um, yeah, and I'm here with my cousin, yeah. Richard from. And yeah, there's yeah. Richard. From bless up, bless up. Yeah. That's good. Represent the country, yes. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Guys, going to have breakfast now. Yeah, thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Cut some. Mm. You want to carry some with you? It me warm. Yeah, it look nice. Mm -hmm. Love that. That's so what we're going to head to London. We have a tree stop. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's video. This was the main event for this week, this past week. So we had these visitors coming, well, one from the US, and he was joined here by his cousin from the UK. So this is the first time that we're actually hosting visitors in our house, having a meal since COVID times. So yes, this was really exciting for us. We had planned dinner for them. It was almost all ready, but then they came in the morning. So we had to get things together to make them breakfast. So they did enjoy the lovely spread that we set out for them. And it was an honor, honestly, an honor to do so. Yeah, so I'm, so tell us what you're doing, sir. I'm Steve. Yeah. I'm here with Joe Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm helping them, you know, reset. Reset them um, with the seal. The seal of the around the, the, um, the, the counter. Yeah. yeah. Right? So I'm I'm actually taking out the, the old one, you know, with, with a knife. And then to replace it with new ones. New sealant. Yeah, new sealant. Okay. Right? <laughs> and I'm gonna do it professionally. Amen. Right, you can't <laughs> wait to see the job. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. So when I'm through, you will see the difference. Yes, yes. certainly. So all right. So come over here and show okay. them. Okay. Um, Close up. Close up. <laughs> Right, so I'm taking out this okay. older seal. Yeah. Right. And you're going to replace it. You need to take the whole thing out. Of yeah, you have to take it. Make sure it's clean because you don't want to mix new with old. All right. Okay. okay. So we just take that out. Good. Yeah, you, you can have a use seal. a knife or use a potty knife. Or a family knife is what I was thinking. Of. Yeah. Yeah. And you just scoop it out and clean the area. And replace it. And then replace it. Alright. So we'll check back a little later. And you're still in the game. Yeah. Alright. Thank you. Alright, so right now we have in our our brethren, uh, our cousin for Richard. <laughs> Richard, and he's From doing the, yeah, he's doing the caulking, our ceiling, yeah, yeah. Good. round, yeah. all the way around, smooth like that. Yeah. The next time they come back, they're doing the roof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So 
this is a professional job on all levels. So we, make, that, so we, we, we let it stay you, dry now. Yeah, you're drying a couple of hours. Yeah. Three hours to dry. Yeah, so we can go so we'll see that pass with natural. Yeah. yeah. If you've got a screw, okay. put a screw, screw in the middle of that. Thank you. thank you, Richard. Thank you so much. Don't make You're it welcome. be the last time. Yeah. Exactly. When C yeah. come back, carry him back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again. So our friends have been and gone, and now we're taking Shali. Say hi to the range. To the range and Donelm and wherever else she fancies because she's after. What do you want? A lamp. 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 That's like a touch lamp. Touch lamp. A laundry basket. And a laundry basket. And like a little thing, like a little like some like a decor piece, like a little basket thing, so I can put like my keys and my earphones when I come home, and then that will be Okay, so that's the pre. That's where we're heading now. Nice and sunny. We yeah, nice sunny day. No, it's a cold at all. Although sometimes the sun gone in. And Julian wanted to come as well, but her bed. Is calling her, so she answered the call. We need petrol for a stop. Actually, found a lamp that she likes, and now we're looking for. Or Florida sandals. Or this. I don't like any of them. So she got a few pieces in B&M just now and now we're going into the range. So we're back. We got most or if not all of the things that we wanted and Shirley is now going to share her haul with you. Okay, so, so this is the first thing that I got. It's a lamp for my chest of drawers. Um, yeah, and then I got some bulbs to go in it. So hopefully those work. Then to match that lampshade, I got this for my like above my ceiling light. Um, yeah, just like that design. And then um, I got this desktop bin, and it like pops open just to store like my keys and my earphones. Yeah, like a catch-all out the way and then I've got a new laundry basket yeah just a pop-up yeah so I like that it's covered because my one right now that you can see the clothes it's quite messy so this will be good was that it that's the oh. white thing yeah. oh let me get something else to show you and the haul continues so this is Shelly's next item for her room makeover it's a metal um, decorative piece, decorative wall hanging. It actually comes with the things to hang it on the back. But she's planning to change the color oh. to brownie, creamy brownie. Okay, or off white. So that was one. And now to our hall. So I got this 
chia seeds. Nice in porridge or on salads and so on and quite healthy. Then we've been after these for a long time, egg boxes with lids. So it looks much nicer, I think, in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And so you can um, recycle the cardboard cartons and use Plus these. these are stackable. Yeah, so they stack in the fridge. And I got a card for my son, shall I show you? Birthday card. <laughs> All the prices on the back, I love to take that off. And what's this for? Is it a candle oh, holder? It was. We are going to use it for flowers because the bottom is glass. So for a nice arrangement. Huh? Not that part. I the mean, bottom. you can put water in it. Oh, here. It, yeah. Okay, okay. So it was a candle holder, but Lisa plans to use it as a vase or vase. Then plastic, we like these colors though for the sink to put washing up liquid in. Or we had one, but it's sort of, what's the word? Indented. So we'll, we've got two new ones. So one for maybe hand wash or lo hand lotion and one for washing up liquid by the sink. Then some new microfiber cloths for cleaning. And I think that's it. Oh, what my friend sent me. <laughs> I got a couple bottles of this. Everything but the bagel seasoning. I've heard so much about it. I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm going to try it today. And I've got a few bottles of these. Yeah, and some um, dryer, dryer sheets. sheets. I like these for putting in the dryer. Um, nice scent for clothing that's dried in the dryer. And also, afterwards, I still use the sheets for dusting because it still has the scent on it. Plus it and attracts, this one, the, the, um, it dust. attracts the dust of things like furniture, um, tops and TV surfaces and so on. And this one is lavender and without opening it, it smells amazing. So that's our little haul. We're back home. Oh, there are two boxes of these. One is lavender, one is something else. But we're back home. We're going to prepare dinner and we'll see you in the next clip. So, if you were on one of our recent lives, you would have heard us talk about uh, March 1st. Well, today is March 1st, time for changes, so this is the first part of the new us. Again, it's me, Lisa, and remember we have a little plan to work together at, by the way, I think this is the top I had on the first video I did in this garden season. <laughs> well, trust me, it's not the same day, but today is a week and more, a week and a little bit more later, but I want us to start. I've started a little bit of garden work, which I'll show you now.
the main thing I want to get up to today is sowing some seeds. So I've prepared my compost. Well, I've taken out some out of the bag. I'm going to look for the seeds that I want to plant. And also I want to show you my little setup. Well, the first seeds I want to sow are sweet peas. So I have two different lots. I have this that I think was saved from a batch I had before. And then this one, which I've used as well. So maybe this one is the original. Then this I planted and reaped some of the seeds. But let me show you my setup first and then we shall get planting and sowing seeds. So this is the soil that I've taken out of, well the compost that I've taken out of the bag. The bag is under there still. These are the containers that I'm going to be using for planting. And I also have this set up here. You might remember this little trolley on wheels that was in the pantry. I've set it up now to be a planting station. So tissue rolls, eggshells, bottles, old containers, egg cartons. Egg, egg cartons, did I not say that, and a spray bottle. So that's the setup. Come now with me and we'll get some seeds planted or sown. Here's what I have so far. So containers with soil or compost. Some are in the, the bottles and some in tissue holders. And I also have these three bottles. Now I've decided that I might need to put, not might, I will need to put a little hinge just with tape on the end of this so I can use it as like a greenhouse effect. Because they won't stay on, on their own. So that's that. I'm going to put seeds in now. Well, I'm going to sprinkle it with water a little and then put seeds in. Yes, so I've been working on and off on these, well, these plants for a bit, these seeds. I'm not quite finished, but I've had lots of interruptions, you know, how it goes, just lots of things to do. But let me show you where I'm up to so far. I've planted Cosmos in a variety of containers and also Sweet Pea. So let me show you. So this one. Oh, where did I put my stick? Oh, hold on. <laughs> These in the bottle up here, these one, two, three, four, five, each of them have about five Cosmos seeds. And then I've made this little label that says Cosmos. So it's going to stay somewhere up here so that I know what is in these. That's all right. And then these in the tissue holders are Sweet Pea. So two, four, 
6, 8, 10. Yeah? 12, 14, 16, 17 sweet pea. So I'm looking forward to having lots and lots of sweet pea this time. And let me show you something about these containers. These are the bottles that the Cosmos are in. They've, I've cut the tops off. Well, Joe cut the tops off for me. And then, because they wouldn't seal shut to be used as like a greenhouse, I have put a little bit of tape. So when they get too hot, I can open it, just remove the tape, open it out so that they get some air. So that's where I'm at, and I'm going to continue to work now. Hope you're getting yours done and enjoying the process. Let me show you what I've done so far. So those up top, those on the second tier, um, string beans, yeah, I've done a little label there. That's leftover compost for another day and you've also seen me perform surgery on that um, orchid which is the first time I've ever done that so hopefully it will be okay hopefully you've had some work done in your garden or indoors if it's too cold and i'll see you hopefully tomorrow if i get a chance to do some more well as you know surgeons always need a break after intensive surgery so i took a break to do well to finish this crochet you know this blanket has been started many many years ago and the only thing left for it was our border left to be done. So that's what I'm finishing here. And by the end of the day, I did have it finished, as you'll see. hey 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 welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to another day in our lives um right now we're off to the dentist, the dentist first stop yeah then we're gymming it yeah i think i shared a sneak peek with you yesterday of us gymming it well today we're gymming it again but people i have a pain that i think jamaicans call gas pain 
yeah. tell me if you think that is it I have a pain that's going and it's not really a pain pain it's not very a dull painful a achy. dull ache going round in my body so sometimes I feel it in my back my stomach my belly the side my side my neck back this but is the same what dull is neck back <laughs> neck back neck front <laughs> so today I made some ginger this morning just now ginger and lemon real ginger strong blend it strong and then boil and it boil it with a lemon including the lemon juice and skin so I don't know if that will help and today I'm not drinking any soda <laughs> I've had a habit the other day of drinking soda at least one a day today I'm not drinking any and I'm going to try for tomorrow as well it will, and do, also, it will only do you good yeah I also think I need some multivitamin because this way this way oh yes I forgot where I was going <laughs> Yeah, so um, I think I need some multivitamin because December I had a cold, that bad one in Jamaica, coming back from Jamaica. And then February I had another one. So I only had one month that I didn't have a cold or flu since the year started. Yeah, so I'm gonna see if I can get me some multivitamin and start taking those. But hope you're good. My planting, yeah, they're doing well. Today, I had planned to plant gladioli. There are some really lovely, I don't know if they'll grow in Jamaica. I'm not sure, maybe. But they're beautiful flowers. I'm going to share a picture with you here. But I wanted to plant them outdoors today. But oh. the weather forecast for the, the next, next 10 days says snow. So I don't know if they'll do well outside, but in the conservatory oh, it's very cold. But did say you can plant it March? Yeah, it's but March sometimes now. Sometimes April still has snow, so I suppose it's weather like that. It's okay. I don't know. If it's just started, maybe if it had started maybe already. You can read what the back package says. If it can plant indoors and then transplant outside, or they expect you to plant it outside in March. It really said plant outside in March. Well, it should be okay. But I want to be on the safe side, so I think I'm going to sow them, like plant them in a little or little pots, put them in the conservatory, which is cold and almost damp, so it will get that cold, like um, outdoors. Is this spot not big enough? Yeah. Trying to get a parking spot, then run up to the dentist. So it's a bad woman driver, and I couldn't do that. At least a bad. Anyway, right here in the next clip. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll now. Jim! <laughs> gonna change. Gonna change and gym it. lovely little workout session that was good and we're going to try to keep it up now I just picked some bush a nice green bush but as you can see the, the daffodils on the table have died so I'm going to 
exchange daffodils for bush. Nice green bush. So just like that. And like that. And I might need to top up the water. Yeah. So there it is. My green bush bouquet. Good morning lovelies. It's very early morning. Some people are still asleep, but we're awake and I'm going to plant some of these seeds. Rud Beckia. Now I heard somebody, Dainty Dress, talk about this. Well, she showed it actually in her garden and I love the look of it. So let me tell you what it says. You had said you weren't going to buy any seeds. Yeah, and I didn't. Oh. Oh, I didn't buy it. These were bought a long time ago. I have not bought oh, anything more. From your stash? <clears throat> no, so this is one from my stash, root back here. And I'm going to sow it today in... Let me show you this. You know, these are so useful. We got these in a charity shop ages ago. So it has this green base, which allows this. it to hold water. So this is the, the base of it. And then it has... Let me show them one of the partition the sections. This. So this goes down into the green base. Then you fill here with soil. It has holes in so it can drain. And then this nice see-through cover. Yeah. And I, I bought those. lots of them mm. years ago. Was it before At COVID? The charity shop. No, I think it was after COVID. Oh, but cheap. Lots of them. So this is useful now. Anyway, I like the sound of the Rebecca and I'd like you to hear what it says. So, it says this Rebecca is a biennial but can be grown as an annual. It has very large flowers with lemon tips on golden petals with green center. I <laughs> just love the sound of that and I hope it does well in my garden. It takes 13 to 16 weeks from sowing it to seeing the flowers. So it's about time because that would end up being like summer. summer. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to sow now, and hopefully, you'll see this adorning my garden for the summer. Let me show you, point you down. Yeah, so it's here. I'm going to use just this screw, large screw, to poke a hole in the center. Where I'm going to drop each seed. Snow is in the forecast, but I'm still hoping that it does well. It's going to be indoors, warm and sunny. <laughs> warm, let's just say warm. So, yeah, we'll be careful. Thank you so much for joining us this week as we did our garden. We did some gardening. We did Jimin, which is the new us, <laughs> new way forward. Yeah. We have done a nice um, fruit and veg haul. Hmm. So that's mostly what we're eating now. So pray for us as we continue this journey. And we'll pray for you too as you continue yours if you want to. But please do remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, subscribe. if you haven't yet. 
See you, See you next time. time.